Two things to learn here. Why can't fishermen share one good tractor rather than maintaining five bad ones? And I hate seeing people chucking rocks for dogs to swim after. If you loved your dog, mate, you'd bring a ball or find a stick. The wind died, we put the engine on and uh, now it's gone round 180 degrees. It's turned into a nice little gentle sea breeze, so I put the ghoster on. My wife insists upon calling it the ghosty. Bridlington Harbour marker. Sorry? It is a harbour marker. It was only about 20 miles to Bridlington and we arrived just after low tide, which meant that we could get inside the harbour walls but would have to wait until there was enough water for us to reach the pontoons, which are tucked away in the sheltered southwest corner. Bridlington used to have um, just moorings and boats in cradles. Two years ago they put in this, these drying pontoons. I think it costs about a thousand pounds to keep that one here. However, the lozenges have arrived, attracted by the pontoons. The harbour will change forever. But I like a walk on pontoon, so I'm not going to complain. The drying nature of the harbour will keep the worst of them out. These turnstones, which are very tame. the others off. Sorry to give you a right beta lads. Cute little birds. He 
these are it's a fleet of Yorkshire one designs. I think it's the only fleet in the UK. You can see classic wooden gentleman's keelboat. Very comfortable. The flags are not in celebration, the flags are to keep the seagulls off. See, a white rose. You lads, eh? Just, okay, the, 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 these are York One designs. Yorkshire One designs. York, Yorkshire, oh yeah. man, I better get that right. Uh, the Yorkshire One designs. Yeah. And how many of them in the world? Uh, I think there were, let me just get my facts right on these. There were, I think there were 13 ever built. The first, the 13. first, there were six built in the first place in 1897. This one was 1897, this which is the... built 1897. Yeah. 1947 with Jester, uh, which is the one there. Ireland, Theo is the orig an original, which is the cream one. And then uh, Dither and Pop is an original. That's it. Wow. There are an amazing number of wooden boats in this harbour, aren't there? Even even the cobbles. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the three brothers have yeah. been completely rebuilt. And, and I, I think... Um, yeah, we're an old-fashioned lot, aren't we, really? So, so, <laughs> so, so are these older ones competitive with the younger ones? Oh, absolutely. They're, they're every bit as good, if not better. And actually, the guys who, who are on them are, are, are good as well. I mean, Mona is, is, a, is a, the orange one. He's, yeah. he's uh, Crispin Blythe, and he's, I mean, he's been sailing here since he was... You know, They've got lovely arses, haven't they? They're very pretty. Yeah, the stern's very yeah. pretty. Was it, I think um, Albert Strange said that it takes... Um, any fool can design a bow. It takes a genius to design the stern. Yeah, and well, that, that is... That's, that's about right. Yeah. They were first built in, uh, down in uh, Itchen Ferry in uh, Southampton. And they all came up by train to, um, to Bridlington. So you Northerners train. had to go all the way south to get some decent uh, shipwrights to build racing yachts. Do you know that in 1791, Whitby was the third biggest shipbuilding harbour in the country after London and Newcastle? <laughs> it was. That was in 1791. Uh, so I think we had the shipwrights here, but um, I, I don't know why they went down to... And, and, and will, will these, these... I assume they're designed so that they don't slam in that awful north coast chop. Yeah, is that they're, it? they're slightly cod-headed. I mean, if you look at the... Cod-headed, is that the word? That's the word. If you look at, if you look at the bow, yeah. they're, they're slightly cod-headed. So that we get a short chop and then the, uh, the, the, the don't, they don't slap as badly in the, in the chop or they go into, hopefully they go into the chop. But actually, most of us put weights in them as well. <laughs> so I've got a 56-pound sackway in the front <laughs> just to keep a nose down. And, and you race with two or three people? Uh, most people race with uh, three, but it, I race with my son Fred. Do you do the maintenance yourself? Uh, some of it, every other year. And then Joe, who Joe Irving built this boat, or rebuilt it, as I say, she was built in 1947 originally, but I restored it uh, four years ago. And uh, Joe Irving, it goes back to him in uh, Barton on Humber to be fettled up uh, for bits and pieces every other year. And then I do, I do the varnishing every other year. And, and, and you guys really stick to wooden masts. You don't allow metal masts. Wooden masts, completely wooden masts. There's, a, there's um, Crispin, who's the class measurer, is a stickler for all the, uh, the ins and outs of it. And um, I mean, this is a collars mast, uh, which, which I've had uh, made uh, again about four years ago. But a, a lot of them are chopped down uh, dragon masts. Oh, are they? And that's where the rig came from, because obviously they were Gunter rigged when they were first uh, designed in 1897. They were a Gunter rig. And then in about the 1960s, they were all re-rigged with these Bermudan rigs. And uh, they were, when, the, when the dragons went on to aluminium masts, they... they you you uh, pick them up cheap. Yeah, pick them well up, done, lads. OK, uh, how long? Uh, 27 foot. And what do they draw? Uh, three, three foot six. And the beam, six, seven foot, six is it? Six foot, six foot, uh, sorry, six foot. Uh, yeah, six foot. And, and sail area? Oh, pass. Pass? Pass. Have you yeah, got yeah. spinnaker, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the spinnakers aren't big. Yeah, they're, 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 they're very manageable. I must say, it looks absolutely delightful. Well, we uh, when when we redid it, I, I insisted on having all um, bronze below and stainless steel on top uh, because I, I, well, I like bronze. So, do you know that your son's going to look after it when you go? <laughs> 
I hope you might. <laughs> I'll enjoy it first. Like that little motor cruiser. Another little cobblestone there, look. Never been in a harbour where there are so many wooden working boats. There's uh, an old cobble. There's a converted cobble. There's one that's just rotting but being used as a storage area. There's a preserved one. One time I assume there would have been a whole fleet of these. Different sizes and shapes. I really like the idea that uh, the locals here still like the cobble shape. So there are a few sailing cobbles, but there are also some uh, old working boats, which are cobble holes, which have been converted. So they're still being looked after, which is great. Yeah, yeah, or something local. Same thing. What? Do you always do the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do two dogs, dear? Do and you make them fresh every day. Yeah. Good for you, man. Where are you from? Romania. R Romania. Yeah. Very good. Clever man. Tell me about it. How old is it? That is three years old, yeah. It's got its head in a bag of crisps, look at yeah. that. Yeah, it's three years old. And what's its name? Yogi. Yogi. Yeah, it's Yogi. Have you had him for a long time? Me, I've had him about a week. I bought him off um, eldest lad's girlfriend's mum. Did you? How much do you pay for a ferret then? I paid 20 quid for him yeah. with everything, much everything. And what does he, what does he eat? Cat food. <laughs> you, can you can feed him on raw meat, but you feed him more feed them on raw meat if the feed last. You know, if you hunt them. So you're going to work him? No, it's just a pet only. He? Yeah, he runs house and everything in. Does he? Yeah. Wow. You know, it's damn close to having a rat on a lead, don't you? Oh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Hi, Cheers, then. Thank you. <laughs> I live there. So when you take him out? Oh, I go wherever he wants to go, really. <laughs> He's a great looking thing, man. Cheers then. <laughs>
cannon was excavated from the North Pier and restored for the Silver Jubilee of HM Queen II. Reeves and ashes scattered at sea by arrangement. <laughs> Guess they don't want people just chucking it over the side. Bless you. What's your name? Jonty. Thank you, Jonty. That's very good of you. Right, I'll put right. it on YouTube. All right. Good okay. Night. Cheers then. Thank you. Continuity announcement. Um, Jill has decided that this has got to go. And she's right, it's a pain in the ass. So, next time you see me, I will look rather different. You'll be seeing quite a bit more of me. There you go, a bit different. Just had my hair cut in a place called Something for the Weekend. A woman who looked, I swear, not a day over 25. She's got a 22 year old daughter. And she had a long conversation about squeezing her dog's anal glands. You know you're up north.